isn't this information just a version of those older forms of black campaigning or smear campaigning? So that's when I talk to these campaigners. Ang question ko sa kanila is, troll ba kayo? Diba? Hindi naman dapat ganun. Pero the question is, how do you run a digital campaign? Who are the people that you work with? When you create a contract with a political client, ano yung sinusulat nyo dun sa resibo, dun sa kontrata? Ano yung sinusulat nyo dun pag nag-hire kayo ng tao? Some of the strategies would tell us na parang, oh, we hire digital support workers. We hire community managers to run supplemental accounts of politicians to boost their community. And we measure their reach and engagement, etc. And through the course of our research, we figure figured out, oh, digital support worker, community manager, these are just euphemisms. They're talking about fake account operators. To me, kind of useless to be exposing the low-level troll. We need to assign um, most responsibility to the political elites and to the strategists, the masterminds at the top. And these are people who are um, trained in the dark arts of public relations, and they carry a very respectable aura. But they're not um, as shady as the word troll would suggest, but in a way, they're the head troll. I'm giving some um, lectures to college students. I don't even tell them na beware of fake news, beware you might share fake news. I tell them, beware, kayo na ang susunod na troll. Be very alert and have the courage to speak out. I think reform, creativity, and courage will be coming from young people like you, and I hope that you find the courage to speak out in this coming very scary um, election cycle.